In this video, I'm going to describe how to contour beam stress using the beam stress tool in Hypermesh Post. Here we have a plain model and we have also added the results. The result file needs to include vector data types 1D forces and 1D moments. The beam stress tool is on the plot section of the post ribbon. Firstly, I'm going to select a random element and click Find. See that only elements with solid and standard beam sections are supported. Now I'm going to select an appropriate element on which to calculate stress and click Find. Contour is displayed on selected element. The selected stress quantity is calculated from the forces and moments contributions acting on first node of the beam element. By default, the stress data type is evaluated from the full acting load. You can disable any of these components to evaluate the resultant stress without such contributions. You can use a drop-down on the guide bar to select the stress quantity to evaluate. The option Normal View automatically sets the view normal to the section and fits the view on the element. You can set the display options by clicking the hamburger menu on the guide bar. You can set the mesh mode to either coarse or fine. Coarse is faster for larger selections and it is accurate enough in most cases, while fine creates a large number of elements on thickness. This can capture higher stress and can lead to artificial hotspots on sharp corners. You can also define the scale factor if beam sections are too small compared to the model size. Last option is contour type. You can display contour on element or on node. In case we want to calculate stress in a group of beams, we can select the desired elements and by clicking Find, enter the model tool with previous or next options to navigate across the selection of elements. By clicking the play button on the guide bar, selected beams will be contoured all at once.